morning all welcome to exam nursery 65 hope you all are good and safe in this video we are going to discuss about the important current affairs questions and answers on 10th november 2022 do watch the video till the end we will ask you a question at the end of this video please type your answer in comment section let's begin the session who has sworn in as the 50th chief justice of india Justice Dhananjay Yashan Chandrachud Justice Dhananjay Yashan Chandrachud was sworn in as the 50th Chief Justice of India President Draupadi Murmu administered him the oath at a brief ceremony held at the Rashtrapati Bhavan He takes over as the head of India's judiciary from Justice Uday Umesh Lalit Which country will host the women's world boxing championships in 2023 India India will host the women's world boxing championships in 2023 in New Delhi 2 years after the country was stripped of the hosting rights of men's event for not paying the requisite fee to the global governing body India has never conducted the men's world championship but it will be the third time that the elite women's championship will be held in the country having conducted the championships in 2006 and 2018 in New Delhi Let's talk about International Boxing Association. International Boxing Association (IBA) sanctions professional boxing matches and awards world and subordinate championships. It founded in 1946. Where is the headquarters of IBA? Lausanne, Switzerland. Who is the president of IBA? Umar Kremlio. India will host the Women's World Boxing Championships. in 2023 let's move to next question in which state or union territory was the mukhyamantri devdarshan yatra yojana scheme launched goa goa launched a state sponsored pilgrimage scheme for people under the scheme people over the age of 50 years are eligible to apply The 53rd International Film Festival to be held in Goa from November 20 to 28. Note on this point also. The 53rd International Film Festival of India to be held in Goa. Let's talk about Goa. Where is the capital of Goa? Panaji. Who is the Chief Minister of Goa? Pramod Sawant. Who is the Governor of Goa? P.S. Sridharan Pillai. Which state has celebrated its foundation day on November 9? Uttarakhand. On November 9, 2000, Uttarakhand became India's 27th state, carved out of the hilly regions of undivided Uttar Pradesh. The day is now celebrated as Uttarakhand State Foundation Day or Uttarakhand Divas every year. Let's talk about Uttarakhand. Capitals of Uttarakhand. Dehradun, its winter capital. Gairdsen, its summer capital. Who is the Chief Minister of Uttarakhand? Pushkar Singh Dami. Who is the Governor of Uttarakhand? Gurmeet Singh. Is there any other state that formed in November 2000? Yes, apart from Uttarakhand, two other states were formed in November 2000. Chhattisgarh on November 1st and Jharkhand on November 15th. The former was carved out of Madhya Pradesh and the latter out of Bihar. Not on this point also. Let's move to next question. Which company will launch India's first privately developed rocket into space? Skyroot Aerospace. Telangana based Skyroot Aerospace is also to create history by becoming the first private space company in India to launch a rocket into space. The mission named Praramp meaning the beginning in sanskrit heralds a new era for startups in the country's space tech sector vikram s rocket will be the first space launch vehicle manufactured and operated entirely by a private company in india not on this point let's move to next question which ministry has completed the mother tongue survey of india mtsi 
Ministry of Home Affairs. The Ministry of Home Affairs has completed the Mother Tank Survey of India with field videography of the country's 576 languages. What is the MTSI? According to the report, the Mother Tank Survey of India is a project that surveys mother tanks which are written consistently across two and more census decades. It also documents the linguistic features of the selected languages. A web archive is also planned to be set up to preserve and analyze the original flavor of each indigenous mother tongue. Who is the Minister of Home Affairs? Amit Shah. International Day of Radiology or Radiology Day observed on November 8. World Radiology Day is commemorated on November 8 every year to mark the anniversary of the discovery of X-rays. X-rays were discovered in 1895 by William Conrad Rongton, who received the first Nobel Prize in Physics in 1901. The day also celebrates the effort of radiographers and radiologists around the world. What is the theme of Radiology Day 2022? Radiographers at the forefront of patient safety. World Town Planning Day, which is also known as World Urbanism Day, is annually celebrated on 8th November. The day celebrates and recognizes the importance of planning in urban development. What is the theme of World Town Planning Day 2022? Think Global, Plan Local. Not on these points also. State of the Global Climate 2022 report released by WMO, World Meteorological Organization. WMO Provisional State of the Global Climate 2022 released by the World Meteorological Organization. According to the report, the rate of sea level rise has doubled since 1993. The WMO State of the Global Climate report is produced annually. It provides an authoritative voice on the current state of the climate using key climate indicators and reporting on extreme events and their impacts. Let's talk about WMO. The World Meteorological Organization is a specialized agency of the United Nations responsible for promoting international cooperation on atmospheric science, climatology, hydrology, and geophysics. It founded on 23rd March 1950. Where is the headquarters of WMO? Geneva, Switzerland. Who is the president of WMO? Gerhard Ardian. Who is the secretary general of WMO? Petri Talas. Who has become the first Indian scientist to be awarded Bailey K. Ashford Medal? Dr. Subhash Babu for his outstanding research and contributions to tropical medicine, prominent Indian physician and scientist Dr. Subhash Babu has received the prestigious Bailey K. Ashford Medal for 2022 and the Fellow of the American Society of Tropical Medicine and Hygiene Award for 2022. In the 82-year history of the award, it has never been awarded before to an Indian scientist or for work done at an Indian institution. Leslie Phillips passed away. He was an actor. Actor Leslie Phillips, who was known for appearing in the Carry On Phillips, passed away. He was also familiar to younger fans as the voice of the sorting hat in Harry Potter Phillips. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video and you have received some important points. How was the video? If you find this helpful, please like the video and subscribe to our channel. And share it with your friends. To get daily current affairs notes, please subscribe to our channel. See you tomorrow. Bye. Take care.